Ten years ago, we were dealing with a couple of phones, maybe some CDs. And now, like everything else electronic, with the internet, with hard drives, we're looking at thousands of times more data. But there aren't thousands of times more police. For a person to be charged for possessing child exploitation or radicalisation material, for example, a human investigator has to review it and say, yep, I say that is child exploitation. It has an emotional impact. Each person shows it differently, but it is there. And sadly, I guess the biggest problem is often you don't realise the impact until it's already happened. One of the issues in dealing with image classification is that you need to train your classification algorithms on data, on real data. In this case, this real data is sensitive, it's illegal to possess in many cases, and it's distressing to view. So we've come up with a system called a data airlock in conjunction with Data61, um, which enables researchers to test and train their algorithms on this data without actually being exposed to it themselves. We think this is a world-first initiative and it's a key contribution of Alex. What's unique about this research is the collaboration between law enforcement and university. There are maybe two or three other places in the world where you'll get access to the data, the motivation and the resources to do this stuff. The results have been strong enough that it's kicked off Project Stonefish and the Federal Police, which is an automation piece to enable the training of classifiers out at Monash as part of the Alex Lab without requiring any more work by digital forensics members, investigators or police. In general, this technology has application uh, beyond child exploitation, in particular counter-terrorism investigations or any investigation where uh, highly distressing and offensive imagery or, or video is likely to be encountered. The Alex Lab is a really good example of where we're using AI to have a positive social impact on society. And we realised from that that when we looked across Monash University, we had hundreds of similar examples of using AI in a wide variety of fields, but all with the mission statement of AI for social good. And so we decided to bring all of that together under one banner, and we called it the Monash Data Futures Institute.